Got yeah, bomb. Oops. One's outer right. I'm weak. Yeah, he slid back. Oh, oh shit. I'm gonna back out for a sec. Hold on. Two in their mid on their side. There's one on the bridge over top of B. I'll help you in a second. Hold on. Oh, he's in the corner. Shot. Shot. One pinched. Be too clutch. Let's go. Let's see. What are they doing? Damn, nice nice turn. All good. Uh, have you guys even played this map before? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, same. It looks kind of it looks kind of cool though because I think they're adding this to the CDL after this uh, major. Are they really? Really? It, are you really? It plays out good though. I will say. It looks really nice. I mean, I'm having fun with it. Yeah, like, like Would you add me in Minecraft if we could build some special game, bro? <laughs> I'm not playing no Minecraft. I'm caught for life, bro. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go A. I don't see anything deep left. I'm gonna pinch him, guys. Oh, wait, 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 I'm watching. Wait, I'm flanking one. I'm pulling a top. Oh, ooh, there's uh, two in the mid building, and two actually coming out mid to our mid. All right, Bubba. I'm staying here. There's another one over there. Nice. Nice, yeah. nice, let's go. Bam. I hope you're doing well. Appreciate it, Wolf Clan. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to keep it together with the trading and everything. So, yeah, hey, Doug, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit uh, surprised that there wasn't as many sweats. What? In this at least, at least I wasn't there. What are the like? <laughs> Well, I kind of like did this without much leeway notice and I haven't really given much effort to a lot of different things So like if we're gonna do sub eight sweats, like I could definitely get that shit popping Well, it's usually the way they, where I can make it where you can like I can like give them like If they like react to a thing they can get like rolls and stuff like their cause like link their cause and account to their discord and do it like that. It's hard to do though, so I can figure that out Like hard to explain, but like they, they react to a thing, like link their stuff, and then they'll get like a, their role for it. Like, like if they have friends. Uh, yeah, I gone back to main building. I just set it up today too, so like that's the other thing too. Like I, I gotta get all my shit, cause I'll make it oh, a I lot mean, easier I... for you guys moving forward. One's been yeah. in Ray. Well, I mean, what, what I was getting at was that like they oh, usually come out. Me. The sweats Three usually come out the woodworks as soon as they hear like a, a tired pro or someone with the, like you is doing sub eights. They come out the woodworks. <laughs> well, I guess like cockroaches. I'll definitely, I'll definitely try to incentivize sweats because, like, a big part of the academy system with Boston is finding the best talent, which we've done a great job of, and it's obviously hard to get on Boston Academy. So, like, I would love nothing more than have a guy from Sub Eights join Boston Academy, you know. And I think that's a really good way to incentivize sweats to want to play because then I'm the person who gives them the contract. They're gonna want to join, you know. That's pretty good incentives. It's a great incentive, you know. I mean, we've changed a lot of lives so far, and we're gonna keep it pushing, you know. That is correct, brother. It's gonna you be fun. Right. It's gonna be fun, man. Dude, this map is fucking nice, dude. Oh, there's two over. I don't know even what to call that. You're in back. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, the two mid, two mid building. Pushing yeah, our right mid. All up for this map at all. Yeah, they're gonna be. I don't see a middle right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I need it outside mid building. One's on the left, Doug. Hmm. 
I think they're wrapping an A. I'm flanking them. Watching their pinch dead. Yeah, I'm gonna streak them. I'm gonna streak them real quick. Hold on. <laughs> My night's going well, Karma. How about you? All right, one's on B and one's in the back of our spawn. He's in like this mid building and one's in our back A building. Back A building, last guy, like deep right. He could have crossed the B, but I have everything right now. He's not on B. Do you have A? I think he's to. I'm not sure, but I think he's to the left. Sounds like. Yeah, near the bomb. He's got a plant, no? Is the new event camera good? I haven't even seen it. Do we need one? Yeah, I mean, uh, talk to you Kelly. You uh, pick your brain about something, Doug? Yeah, let me hear it, man. So, I don't, I don't know if you know if uh, about like uh, CCL with like College Cod or anything. Not too much, but I know like the premise of it. So, I was just curious because I think it's been been a thing for the last like couple of years, if I'm not mistaken, because this is my first year playing in it. But there's like a lot of good people in there, and I was just curious as to why they, like they don't get. I guess like looked at or like maybe even like scouted from it uh i think ah, because everyone looks at challengers to scout people i mean if you're really good Sorry. i don't like the, the question i have for you is like if you're a college cod player can you still play cod challengers yeah 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 a lot of the uh like a lot of the top like probably like six or seven teams in the cod league are all most of them play challengers if not dabble in it so then usually what um, happens is like if they dabble in challengers, they're going to have to play well in challengers because if they're going to like be elite in college cod, like say they're the best of the best in college cod, but they're getting like T16 in challengers, they're not going to get picked up. Like it's, it's a hard cutthroat business. There's only 48 players in the league. You literally have to be like the tier one challengers in order to get picked up. So if they're playing challengers, like what their results are is going to dictate their future. Uh, I was I was meaning like for like uh like Boston Academy and like for like Faze, Faze, oh my goodness Phase Black and, and like those guys, those teams for like in challengers. What do you mean? I don't understand. Like the like the pro teams like challenger teams that they have. That's what I was getting at. Not like the actual uh like COD really pro like CDL teams right off the bat. Wait, if I, that I, makes sense. I, I don't understand the question. So I, I was getting at like why aren't why oh, don't no. oh my god those guys get looked at for like like Boston Academy for example or because if like, you're a college cod player and you're like really good you're not just gonna instantly get on Boston Academy like I'm telling you as the guy that signs players I don't give a fuck if you win a college cod championship you got to go into challengers and play these tier one players and play well against them because if you're really really good you'll go straight in there it's free to play. You could go into these tournaments like there was a there's a cup going on right now, right? Is it over? I think it's over for the night. But if you're like a yeah. tier, like say you're the best player in college cod, the absolute best player in college cod, and you play in a cup, and you're frying in the cup, and you're getting a good placement in the cup, that could get you on a team like Boston Academy or Phase. But if you're like a tier mm -hmm. one college cod player, and you're not going hard in challengers, and you're not competing in those tournaments, we're not just gonna sign you because we need to see more than just you competing against others in college cod. We got to see you play against the best players in the game and the best players in the game play in the league. And then after that, they play at the top of challengers. And that's like the trickle down effect. Oh, okay. So, I mean, dude, if you're the best college COD team or the best college COD player, fucking if I, I'm, I, I watch everything. So I'm going to see you. Like if you're in challengers, I'm going to see you. And I'm going to definitely want to work with you. Okay. Yo, Karma, oh, have a good night, man. I was, I was just curious as like a bigger picture. Well, bigger picture, I feel like college COD, like the, the thing that sucks for me that I don't understand is like challengers is definitely where the best comp is at, not college COD. But like when I look mm -hmm. at, when I take myself outside of the COD space, college COD sounds so much better than COD challengers because you get a degree, you could still focus on your future. Like there's opportunities for people there to get a degree and still be really good at COD and like do both at the same time, have a future and get a degree and also be a CDL pro. But the reality is that that's just not how it's ran. So like 
it's kind of sad to me, honestly, because I think in a perfect world, if you're like a really, really good college COD player, mm -hmm. then you should like, that should be the standard in my head. Like, honestly, because I don't, I don't like the idea of these challenger players that are like the best in the game. Oh, I just got shit on by Mosey. I don't like the idea of these challenger players that like, like here's what breaks my heart. Like, I feel like for a college COD player, it's a lot better because they could get a degree and still focus on their future. But then like the challenger guys that are at the top of the game, the reality is this, they're risking everything. They don't have anything yeah. other than challengers. Like they don't have a college degree. They're not going to school. They are hoping they become a pro. And if they don't, they're going to look back and have a lot of regret, like saying, fuck, I spent like from 18 to 21 focusing on challengers, got shit from it. Like, yeah, I got some good placements. Maybe I got like top three in challenger tournaments, which is really good. Like I could be a pro and maybe I'm really, really good. But at the end of the day, I didn't even get in the league. I didn't make any money. And like, they just risked all those years of their life for nothing. Like that's truly the biggest fear a lot of these players have. And that's why I feel like in the grand scheme of things, college cod is better for the future, but they got to do a better job of just restructuring everything. Like I'll even talk to the league GM and he'll say like, yo, Challengers isn't meant for a career path. And it's just like, I mean, I get that, but they they just got to do a better job of making everything synchronized, I feel. Because yeah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, besides like being on like one of like the, the top challenger teams that where you have like a contract signed and everything, and I'm not sure if challenger players get paid or not for, say, for like, Boston, Boston Academy players do. Yeah, they get paid. Because I know... Most colleges, Mally, you thank you for the two. One empathetic on, karma, I appreciate it. Say, like, one of the COD teams or like one of the college teams for like Rocket League or whatever, they give out scholarships. So, there's like more incentive for you to play good and be good, or you'll get kicked off the team and your scholarship is gone. Yeah, like on Boston then, Academy, we, we have like, I'm sorry, keep going. Oh, I was just saying that, like, I know, I know people sign contracts with like orgs and stuff. That aren't like super big or well known, Brandon and they're not getting that. paid, and they're just How like you said, that? taking that chance to get on a team or like to get signed okay. to a team, and that's all they have, like you said. But they don't get that uh, incentive to play. Well, I, I mean, to play devil's advocate, it's like, dude, you got to be nasty to make it in anything you do, yeah. and anything you do is going to be a risk. And to be honest with you, I feel like. There's so much more opportunity today than there's ever been because I've seen everything from the beginning. Like, you were forced to be the best to make it, or if you didn't, you were not gonna make it. And the the harsh reality is that there are a lot of people that got forgotten, and that's just the harsh reality. And that's just how it's gonna be in everything too. So I feel like if I was a person like doing this all over again right now, I would definitely do college cod, a hundred million percent. I would absolutely do that, and I would just. I would just know life it like I wouldn't have a girlfriend I, I would just focus on college cod I would focus on cod challengers and I'll focus on branching out to playing with the absolute best players possible I would be so curious to find who are the best players where are they playing who are they playing with how do I play with them and how do I get their trust and their approval how do I how do I earn their validation to be associated with them that's the way I would see it and I feel like if you put yourself in that type of a mind space it's going to be easy to succeed True. Yo, he's above us. I don't know where he went. <gasps> Low. Shit on. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, like, the whole, the whole, like, premise of me asking those, because, like, I've asked, like, other, like, either, like, retired pros or other challengers and stuff, and they're like, what's the CCL? What is that? And then like, I'll explain it to them. They're like, oh, dude, that sounds awesome. Yeah, dude, no, that's the other I'm thing, like, too. There's oh, not enough oh. awareness around it. Like, dude, Silly, for example, Justin Silly Fargo is a world champion. And then he wins the world championship. Okay, so cool. You made it, right? But it yeah. doesn't last forever. And that's the problem. Like, it's hard to keep it going. So Silly went to College Cod because he's like, I don't have a degree. I should go get one. Like, I remember, dude, one time I was in an airport flying back from Vegas to, like, New York. And Silly's dad um, was, like, at the airport. And he stopped me because he recognized me. And he's like, yeah, it's kind of sad what they do in the league, like, bouncing people like my son who's a world champion and he can't get another opportunity because of stigmas and like now he's gonna have to go do this and that the other thing and i'm just like i felt bad for him because he's literally one of the best to ever play he's got a he's got a ring Man. you know and it's like it just gives you like really good perspective on the way this is all ran and how it makes sense 
it doesn't really make sense. Like, that's the thing. So if you want to play, you have to really want to play. If you want to win, you have to really want to win. If you want to make it a career path, you have to do more than just be a player. You can't just be the best player in the game. You have to be more than that. Or else you're not going to have a future in it. You're not going to have a sustainable career in it. Because there's only a few people who could say they have. And if you want to be one of those few, you got to stand out and do a lot of different things. So that's the way I kind of see it. What's good? But if you have the opportunity to get a degree, you're in a win-win situation.